Right, this is the Santa Mimic, and I'm going to be showing you how to use subroutines in this demonstration. So we can see the Santa Mimic has a switch which is located on the plug socket and a series of lights which we can turn on on the Christmas tree and it has a nose on Rudy and Santa can open and close his arms in a kind of dancing movement. So these are the ones I'm going to play with. I'm not going to bother with the, uh, the electric player in this demonstration. Okay, so we begin with a start symbol, start lozenge as usual, place the word start in it, and then we're going to ask if the switch has been pressed. Is the switch on? Of which there are two answers, it's either a yes or a no. If the answer is a yes, I want to begin the first subroutine. So to do that, I need a new start lozenge, but instead of start, I use the word sub. And then I give it a title, which lights is as good as any other title. So now I've got the beginning of a subroutine, and I notice that on the left-hand toolbar, I have a new symbol has been inserted called the call subroutine symbol. And I'm going to place that underneath my is the switch on diamond. I have the choice of one at the moment, one subroutine called lights, which I will, I will select, and, a, and an option to make it repeat as many times as I want. And I'm going to choose five. So it's going to make this subroutine work five times for me. So now I can write my subroutine, which is a simple output. And I'm going to have the lights one, three, and five on at the same time. So off two and four, and I'm going to make that delay for 0.1 of a second, and then I'm going to swap that over. So I'm now going to be using off, off, off for one, three, and five, on for two and four. You can choose to do yours however you like. Delay, 0.1. So that's almost finished. A subroutine always needs a stop sign at the bottom. That's what it's there for. And that means it's a complete subroutine and it will go back to the main program once it's run through. And it will need to run through five times before it will jump back to the main program. So is the switch on? Yes. Go to subroutine lights. Is the switch on? No. Go back to the beginning. Now I'm not happy with just one subroutine, I want Santa to dance. So I'm going to add a second subroutine. And I'm going to call that subroutine Santa Dance, because it seems appropriate. And I'm going to write a simple subroutine that repeats five times. So sub Santa Dance times five. So the first thing I want to do is I want the lights on the Christmas tree to go off and then I want the nose on and Santa on. Ignore the fire. I'm going to delay that point 0.1 of a second and I'm going to swap over those operations. So keep the lights off this time the nose are off and Santa off as well. Delay, point one. And a stop sign at the bottom. A little bit of wiring up required. Whoops, that happens a lot. And finally, I need to make sure my program doesn't end without a instruction. So after the last subroutine call, it's going to go back to the beginning. So I will go back to the start. So my subroutines written, my program main program begins with a start, and if the switch isn't pressed, it will loop back. If the switch is pressed, 
it will go down to subroutine lights and repeat this subroutine five times then jump back to here it will go on to a subroutine called dance Santa dance and that will repeat five times and go back to here which will then go back to the start so let's see how that looks in operation I'll just make the mimic a little bigger press run and nothing happens because it's stuck in the loop and I'll press my switch power it up five lights twinkle Santa dances Rudy's life on his nose looks good and that ladies and gents is a subroutine or in this case two subroutines